Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you again, my dear friends. A great pleasure to meet you here this morning. We thank God for the opportunity. This morning, I want to let you know that you are blessed and well blessed. You are blessed and well blessed. Let me break this down for you. When you become a child of God, you become a candidate for His blessings. But also, you find security in Him. You are well blessed in Him. And therefore, I want to talk to you about God's blessing and God's grace to take dominion in the place where he has blessed you. You are blessed and well blessed. I'm reading from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 3. This is what the word of God says. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the country. Now, what is the qualification of being blessed? Every child of God who walks in obedience is entitled to God's blessing. Qualification number one, obedience. Obedience is the first qualification to enjoy, to, uh, for anybody to enjoy God's blessing. If we, if we obey, if we obey the voice of God and keep his commandment, you will enjoy the blessings of the Lord. If you obey the voice of the Lord and keep his commandment, you will enjoy. Let me bring this to you, that God has finished his side of bargain. The question then is, why? Why do we appear like we are, we are not as blessed as we should be? Why, is it that we are, why does it appear that we are not blessed as we, we, we hope for? Could, be, could it be because we are struggling in the place of obedience or grappling with, with, with the voice of God? Are we hearing so many voices that we cannot tell which one is the voice of God? Are we struggling with many things to observe and forgetting to obey the word of God? Perhaps God is calling, is calling us to this action point that we need to carefully select and know which one is the voice of God and which one are we supposed to obey. My dear friend, Satan is a liar. He will camouflage himself with enticing words. He will camouflage himself with enticing words. Cloud your eyes, cloud your hearing so that you're not able to determine clearly the voice of God. And he came, he came to Eve and said, did God say, did God say that you should not eat from the fruits in the, in, in, in the, in the garden? Did God say, creating doubt? And we know what happened later on. He came to Jesus and he said, you know, I've been given all authority and I will give riches and, and wealth to whoever I wish. Can you bow before me and worship me? And Jesus said, behind me, Satan, get out of my way. It is written, worship the Lord alone. Two actions, two, two case studies, and we are seeing what happened. Jesus rebukes the enemy with his enticing words. But if Eve is deceived into believing the lies of the enemy, my dear friend, the enemy might be speaking even today. He's telling you, oh, you are here alone. No one is seeing you. There is no member of your church here. Nobody is looking at you. If you just take it a little, nobody will know. Nobody is around here. Your pastor is not here. Nobody is seeing you. Just a little. My dear friend, which voice are you listening to? If you listen to God's voice and obey God's voice, you will enjoy the blessings of the Lord. But again, you have to be careful with the voice of the enemy. I want to close this by saying, you have to be wise. You have to carefully select whose counsel you are taking. You have to evaluate whose report you are believing. You can choose to believe the report of the Lord. 
by believing the report of the Lord, by believing the ways of the Lord, you will live a victorious, a blessed life. The Lord will settle you where you, he has placed you. In your job, he will settle you. In your family, he will settle you. In the place of influence where he has placed you, he will settle you. But again, if you listen to the voice of the enemy, you will be confused. You will, be, you will start asking, is this a job that God blessed me with? Why am I suffering in this job? Why am I having to, to fight my way in this job? Why, why, why? My dear friend, it's just about finding counsel. Whose counsel are, we, are you talking? Are you taking? Are you taking God's counsel or are you listening to wisdom from elsewhere? I want to pray with us and commit us to the hand of the Lord so that our day may be blessed, that we may be prosperous even as we determine that we listen to the voice of the Lord. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you praise. A blessed day indeed that you've given us. We desire, Lord, that we may be blessed. You say that we'll be blessed in the city and in the country. As we go on with our work today, as we go on with our responsibility, with our duties, how we desire that we may bear the mark of blessing. You say that we are blessed in the city and blessed on the farm, in the farm, in the field, O King of Glory. We pray that, Lord, as we go out, we are blessed. As we come in, we are blessed. But above all, that we may obey your counsel, that we may know how to, 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 to tell your voice amongst many voices. We give you praise today. Thank you for clarity of understanding, clarity of hearing your voice. We give you praise, for we pray by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. My name is Philip Odera. A great pleasure to meet you here. Until we meet again, stay blessed. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.